In this video, I'm going to show you how to add word art and clip art to Excel. It's going to be quite a brief and simple video, but it's a feature of Excel that you're going to use at some point and you need to know. So at the top here, we have insert. It's generally the first um, tab after the home tab that's selected by default. Click insert. We have clip art picture we have shapes and then over here we have word art there are also other things that we'll cover later on in the course such as charts and text boxes but at the moment let's stick with word art and these few icons over here so let's do word art if you click on the arrow under word art you can select a number of different styles of word art and what word art is it's it's generally used as a fancy title it brings a lot of attention to the document that you're creating and the format of the wording is just a lot more flashy than the default formats and sizes that I showed you in the first couple of videos of this course. So let's pick this nice red one here. We can enter our text. So let's enter uh, the bookkeeping master. Obviously you can enter anything you like. And there's your word art. If you go to the edges, not where the circle or the squares are, but just around the edges, you'll get a four point cursor appear. If you just click and drag, you can move the art to wherever you would like. You can change the size using the squares above and to the side. It changes the size of the box and then you can change the size of the text by going to home and then changing the size here. Let's make it smaller again. Let's go to a 40. There we go. Let's make the box smaller. And that's your your word art. You could have a title like this and then your information underneath some sort of table or chart, or whatever you're using. Excel 4. Let's go back to insert. We have clip art and picture. Clip art is normally cartoon style pictures that are loaded onto Excel for your use. So if you leave the search for empty and click go, you'll have a number of pictures that you can use. If you type something in, depending on which Excel you have, you may be able to come up with clip art that match your search. So I've put car in, and here we go, some cars that I can use in my document. Just double click on the clip art that you want. It may just take a little while to load. And our clip art is now on our spreadsheet. Just like the word art, you can change the size using the squares and circles around the picture. Once you're finished with clip art, just use the X at the top to get rid of the clip art box. If we go to insert again, you can insert a picture. This is a picture from your files. So if you have a particular photo or other picture that you have far saved somewhere on your computer, you can click picture, find the destination of that picture, and then insert it onto your spreadsheet. Last but not least, we have shapes, which is next to clip art. Click the arrow under shapes. You can choose the shape you want. There are your primary shapes like squares and circles 
triangles. But there are also things like stars, banners, flags, and arrows. Just click the shape you want, then click and drag onto the spreadsheet to create the shape. With shapes and word art, you can change the color and format of the word art and shapes by using the box that appears when you click on the word art or the shape. For example, I can give my title a blue background. If I click on the arrow, I can change it. I can change the color. I can rotate. And there are other options too. I don't want to spend too much time on all the options and features of word art, clip art, and shapes. Just like all my videos, do it yourself. You're not going to ruin the software. Just go through all the different features and teach yourself the different features of Excel. In the next video, we will go through some more complex formulas that we haven't covered and also formatting cells. Thank you for watching.